So you're going to take one more bottle, and uh, this bottle is for a different lesson. Um, this is for the frost demonstration, and you're going to cut off uh, some of the top of it, uh, and also save uh, the part that you cut off, because that will work in a future lesson as well, uh, as one of the materials you need. What you're doing is you're cutting a little wider space so you can lay one of your gel ice packs on top of it uh, and collect humidity on the other side of it to show kids formation of frost. So I'm going to make this uh, opening a little bit bigger than the diameter of the top of the, the bottle. Currently, uh, that's about twice, maybe two and a half times the diameter currently is, and I think that'll be fine for still sealing up the top of it when I put the um, cold pack on. So again, just as a reminder, you're cutting this with a hacksaw first. Move your hand to the side to just get it started. At least get farther into it. Try to get off the scissors. off because I don't have a real good guideline to follow that's already manufactured in the bottle. I want to look from the side to see the frost demonstration you'll get some um, warmish water about 100 110 degrees out of the tap is fine. You could actually do it with lukewarm water too but it's a little more pronounced with the warmer the water source is. So cover the top you know, you'll put one of your ice packs on frost packs on top of it and when you do that you want to wipe down the outside so that there's no frost on it to start with. You might get frost on the outside just from humidity in the room, but more pronounced will be the frost on the bottom. And so we're going to check this in about five minutes, which is when you don't check it with the kids. And when you're done, uh, you'll take your ice pack and put it back in the freezer uh, so that it doesn't warm up too much. Five minutes later, let's take a peek at what's underneath here. Uh, so this you'll want to show students and maybe even like observe closely. They'll see little crystals on there, even what look like icicles coming off of it. Uh, and if time permits, you could even leave it on there longer and see them grow in size. 